Hello and welcome to Phoenix Cards and it is that time again. It is a Pokemon pre-release weekend and we have Pokemon's newest set, Sword and Shield Evolving Skies. Um, this set is filled with amazing cards and lots of fan favourite Pokemon. As you can see on the front we do have Wayquazer. Then we've got some Dragonites, uh, Gyarados, Suicune, and of course the Evolutions as well. So this set is absolutely stacked full of fan favourites and some of the artworks are just amazing on these cards. And that is why this is such a popular set already, um, even though we've only just got into the, the pre-release weekend. As you can see, as with every um, pre-release, we do have the Build and Battle Kit. Um, so we've got Rayquaza on the front and I think the artwork just basically goes all the way around and then we've got Umbreon on the back. And as you can see uh, we do get the 23 card evolution pack which comes with one of four unique foil promo cards. The promos are Flaffy and each of the Galarian legendary birds. So from a pro probably uh, play stance and maybe money stance you're looking for the flaffy for a collector's point of view i'm actually looking for the uh, galarian birds i think i'd prefer to get those because i'm not playing at the moment and then we also get four evolving skies booster packs plus a code card for the online game now when you go to the events once the event has finished everyone normally gets three additional booster packs um, so we have three here, we've got a Rayquaza artwork and we've got two Sylveon artworks. So we'll be opening them up a little bit later, but for now we're going to be evol evolving. Sorry, we're going to be opening this Evolving Skies pre-release kit. So over the course of this video, we will of course be opening um, seven Evolving Skies booster packs, which is quite a nice amount to have before the official release. Um, I have got some boxes and well I've got a box and a couple of VTBs on pre-order at the moment might actually try and get hold of some more but we'll see because I've got a feeling allocations are going to be a very harsh on this set unfortunately so let's have a look uh, first we have this little um, guide to just give you a bit of information on the set and some building tips on the pre-release event if you're actually going to play in the event and then on the back we do have the evolving skies checklist this is quite a big set so this checklist goes up to 203 um, but I would imagine there's some more cards possibly as well um, I don't know I'll have to double check that I thought the set <clears throat> was bigger than 203 cards but maybe it's not and the promo that we've got is the Galarian Articuno with that Evolving Skies pre-release logo there. This is the Evolution Pack. So when you go to the event, you will basically use this to help build your deck because it will give you some Evolution Chains and it will give you some trainers as well to help you. And then obviously when you open the packs, you can add those cards into this evolution deck so just a closer look at the articuno there it is a uh, black star promo it is sword and shield number 123 as i said there is a promo for each of the birds so there will be a zapdos and a articuno as well so that's pretty nice to get and then this is the evol evolution um deck that i've basically got with this um, kit. These will have um, slight differences to kits that you may have seen already because they like to keep some of them slightly different so not everyone's not playing the same thing basically. So we've got some copycat in there, Evolution Incense, Bruno, Professor's Research and Fletchling. We'll have a few copies of those. We've got Fletchinder. Again we'll have a few copies. And we've got Talonflame. So we've got a, a normal start to the deck there. And then we've got a Quick Ball, another Evolution Incense, Alistair, uh, Zinnia's Resolve, Poke Kid, and then it looks like we've got some Dark Pokemon. We've got Zora, and then we'll probably have Zora, which we do. 
so there we go. So this kit was basically telling me I need to build around normal type or dark type, but because they're normal type, you can basically run any energy and then let's say you get some like B, uh, B maxes and things like that, then they're a lot easier to run. So I'm just going to put that aside and then we've got our four booster packs. We've got another Sylveon, we've got an Umbreon artwork, we've got I think that's the Raladon VMAX. I could be wrong, it looks like a skyscraper. And then we've got our Rayquaza artwork. So let's go through these, hopefully we can get some really good pulls. Uh, I've been seeing people post their pulls already on social media the last couple of days and it seems a lot of people are um, pulling the, the VMAX alternate art, so like um, the evolutions. So I don't know what their pull rates are like, but from what I've seen, they could be quite good. Um, but our first pack for Evolving Skies, we have a Herdia, uh, Scroll of the Fanged Dragon, Floette, Gossifleur, Fletchling, a Scraggy, uh, Hippopotas, yeah, probably said that wrong, <laughs> Timpole, and we've got a Reverse Hollow Cutie Fly, which is just a common, and the rare is a non hollow Feeble. So, nothing major there. There's a the thing though with these um, pre release kits. You can get normally like one or two good pulls, but then you could end up with absolutely nothing in there. And it looks like that Pokemon have continued sort of just mixing the code cards up as well. Because before, if you got a white code card, which I've had for the first pack and now this one, you were guaranteed sort of like a hollow or better. Obviously, in the first pack, we didn't get a hollow or better. So I don't know whether that will be the case for this pack as well. Uh, we do have an Eevee which has a Rayquaza in the background there, so that goes quite very well. It goes very well with the the set and what is revolved around. We've got a, another Cutie Fly. We've got a Reverse Hollow Scrafty, which is an uncommon, and then our rare is a, another non-hollow. It is an Altaria, and as you can see, they have brought the Dragon type in back and. It's kind of weird that they've put like the uh, like dragon claw marks there. I don't know whether that'll be on all the dragons. It'd be quite interesting to see if that's the case because they haven't like the other typings don't have any sort of mark like that. So having that to denote dragon type Pokemon is something a little bit unique, which is quite cool. So on to our third pack. Let's hope we can get some good pulls in in these booster packs. Let's have a look. We have a Toy Catcher, a Hippaldon, Golduck, a Litleo, Chinchou, Dino. So yeah, that one has it as well. So it looks like all the dragons do have like this claw mark over the dragon type symbol in the corner, which is quite cool. We've got a Pumpkaboo. We've got a Kavana. A Reverse Hollow Fletchling, which is just a common, and our rare is another non-hollow. It is a Atropius. So we are a zero for three so far. We're on our last pack from the actual build and battle kit. Let's see if we would have had any amazing pulls from the event. So another white code card. So I'm going to assume it might actually just be white code cards for non-hollows now. Unless they're just doing white codes in every pack, so I'm not sure. Got Toy Catcher, uh, Raihan, Avalug, Pumpkaboo, Kavana, Gossifleur, Fletchling, and Scraggy, a Reverse Hollow Gordy, which is obviously an uncommon because it's a trainer, and our rare is a Hollow, yes! So it is not white co cards for non hollows because we've got a hollow in our last pack. And it is a very happy looking Ludicolo. Um, hollow is, of course, our rare. So, not the greatest packs in that pre release kit, but I'm glad that we actually got a hollow that was quite nice. 
and now we can move on to our three additional booster packs. Again, these could give nothing or they could give amazing pulls because they would have been pulled randomly um, from booster boxes that are provided to your LGS for the pre-release event. Well, there is a green code card which we haven't seen yet. I am really hoping to pull Dragonite cards and obviously the evolutions. Um, I'll probably be more interested in pulling the Dragonites than I am the Rayquazas if I'm being honest. Though the Rayquaza old art does look amazing. Um, I just probably prefer Dragonite as a Pokemon. So we've got a Timpole, a Reverse Hollow Stormy Mountains which looks quite cool as a card actually. And our rare is a non-hollow Sharpedo. So at the moment it doesn't look like I'm going to be pulling anything amazing unfortunately. Another a green code. We have a Baldor, a Roma Lady, a Rescue a Carrier, Zorua, Tentacle, Hoppip, Dino, a Marie, a Reverse Hollow Pyro, which is just an uncommon, and the rare is a non-hollow Lilligant. All the non-hollows today, unfortunately, and we are down to our last pack of Evolving Skies. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll just state that there is obviously a giveaway going on, which you can find out the details in my previous video, which I'll leave in the iCard up above. Um, but apart from that, let's see what we get in our last pack. We have a Thurchinder, a Lantern, Treasure Energy, Marie, a Drowsy, that looks cool, I do like the artwork on that. We've got a Scraggy, a Phoebus, and then we've got a Hitmonchan, a Reverse Hollow Rare, which is a Mars Shadow, so at least we've got a Reverse Hollow under Hollow Rare so far. And then our other rare is a non Hollow Gowergeist. So, a bit disappointing on those packs there. We opened seven Evolving Skies and unfortunately we got this lonely Ludicolo Hollow. But of course we did get our stamped Galarian Articuno promo as well. Again, I just want to say thank you for everyone that's been watching and supporting the channel. Hope you guys have had a good pre-release weekend so far. I've been getting much better pulls than me because those were atrocious. <laughs> Um, apart from that, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video.